Riding a shoe puff isn't. Oh yeah, shoe puff. Fun. That's the name. Why isn't it fun? How little you know? Some things little boys never grow out of. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, it's like a tradition. I mean, it doesn't seem that bad. Why wouldn't it be fun? Old man, I think I talked to you last time, but I already forgot. Would you like to hear a bit about the wondrous shoe puff? Oh yeah, you wanted to tell me about it, and I said no because <laughs> I just wanted to win the stream last night. There are many things we do not know about the shoe puff. Oh, oh, okay. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. Okay, well, how do you the not know that? It sucks through its schnoz. Schnoz? Supports its considerable size. It's actually called a schnoz? Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. Jesus Christ. It's like a land whale. Mm. And that, as they say, is that. That's all? I thought you had more useful info. There's gotta be what the fuck is he on about? All that to tell me that they eat like tiny insects in the water through it, their schnoz. Well, you know what? We did learn something useful there. <laughs> their nose is called the trunk is called a schnoz. Well, hello there. Are you in luck today? If you buy something now, I'll give you a big discount. Well, what do you say? Oh shit! Big discount? Rod of darkness. Fatal Kate Sith Death Touch. Okay, I'm assuming if you like attack, like melee attack, do a melee attack with this, there's a chance that it kills, or maybe it puts doom on the enemies. But mm, I don't know. I mean, how often are you gonna be doing melee attacks with Lulu? This one, however, how about it? But it's like you're not gonna be doing uh, melee attacks, right? Yo, welcome back, Builder Boy. Burrito for this occasion. God damn, dude. Fucking lucky. I'm jealous. I had like a little, uh. What, what, what is it called? Uh, it's like a little, little croissant with a bit of chocolate inside. It's like one of those fucking tiny things you buy at the store. And, uh, and I was like, yeah, get some of that and, and a bit of coffee. And I ate some, some cereal in the morning. That, that's pretty much been all I've had today. Cause I was, uh, I, I, I was supposed to start the stream earlier, like in the past few days. But there was some wrestling event live, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna watch that before I start the stream today. Just a nice, just some nice and chill morning. Also because it's been raining and and super windy since last night. I, uh, I, I recall I was telling people like, hey, it's it's actually sunny outside, so I, I don't trust the weather forecast for, um, like the red alert. They put out a fucking red alert for Friday and Saturday. As it turns out, it did rain a fuck ton during the night, and it was so windy that I, I like, I, I, I actually thought some some shit might fly outside, and it probably did, probably while I was sleeping. The truth is, it is sunny once again, and uh, I don't see really uh, anything red alert worthy. I swear to God, like two weeks ago, there was no alerts, and it was worse than it was last night. But oh well. Double garlic sauce in it, god damn. Holy moly, olden apple knight, welcome back and thank you so much we for the 50 months. The perfect time. Hell yeah! I hope we get some blitz ball action well, with oh, oh, me smoke. Shit, I was just talking about that. If if you want it that bad, then fuck it, why not? Sure, we'll do some blitz ball action today. Hmm. But as I was mentioning earlier, I was thinking of uh, one of these Final Fantasy X streams just doing nothing but blitz ball so we could unlock whatever the fuck is there to unlock and probably lose a bunch of games but by all means then for real for for sure for real yeah <laughs> both of them uh we will definitely check out some more blitzball today i guess we'll get to see uh, just exactly what what's in there that being said let me see do i want to buy any of these uh magic strength pierce it could be nice but i haven't really taught him much magic hmm I was thinking, like, it, I, I need to level Kimari a little bit more, and then maybe on his uh, Sphere Grid, uh, have it back down to... for him to learn, like, Lulu's spells. You know, the, the, the basic elemental shit. Liquid Diabetes stays divine! <laughs> God damn. Listen, man, it's worth it sometimes. Well, not the diabetes part, but... You, you know what I mean. Gotta go with it. Sometimes, hey, you know what they say, right? We're here for a good time, not a long time. I, I swear to God, I've been hearing people say that more and more lately. All over like YouTube Shorts too. Maybe it's like a maybe it's like an algorithm thing. If you say that in your YouTube Shorts, 
maybe it's get it, it gets uh, spread out more. Who knows, man? I, I don't know. Algorithms are kind of ass. Half the time it, it it shows me like some interesting stuff, and the other half of the time it, it shows me like the most repulsing fucking garbage that I would never dare to even search on my own. And I just like I, I just. I imagine what it's like when it, when you, you when you think of those uh, like uh, grandmas and, and Facebook mom etc. You know that just go with the motion of whatever Facebook or YouTube whatever the the hell they use you know presents to them. And I imagine this is how people have to witness some some of the worst garbage online because it just gets presented to them like immediately with little effort. You'd think like some of the more like weird crazy shit. You know, would be harder to find, like, like like those crazy fucking fight videos on YouTube, or just just about any video on YouTube about nasty shit. Like sometimes I'm I'm going like at night before I, I fall asleep, like I'm I'm watching videos on YouTube, and I'm going like through the recommendations or shorts or something just for you know to pass the time, and it will randomly start recommending like uh, what was it last time? Just some fucking some bug with worms coming out of it. No context, no nothing. And I'm like, where, where the hell is it being recommended in the first place? It's like, what? what is the... how? Because normally what what what's, what shows up there is like, uh, the, like, fucking cooking videos or video game videos or just clips of Tarantino movies. That one's been showing up a lot. And then it's just random, like some fucking bunch of worms coming out of a bug's asshole. And I'm like, what? Why? Just fucking why? Yeah, yeah, the praying mantis, exactly. Yeah, like, what the fuck? <laughs> By the end of a Blitzball marathon, he'd be a master just like Waka for sure? Oh, man, imagine. If I actually meant... Listen, all we need to do... Uh, all we need to do is do, uh, like, j do it like just like last time, where I get one goal, and then I just go fully on the defensive. And we win. Running the shoop of is free because the temple pays for it. Oh, shit. Ten years ago. Oh. Ah, a history lesson? No, 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 this is fine. We, we need Jack to hear saw more from him. first shoe puff here. Oh. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Did you get any loot? Wh why? He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, well, that that's... Oh, <laughs> right, I forgot that. He was a wino. Oh, shit. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Oh, my God. Jack never drank again. The shoe puff was the... <laughs> but it would seem that shoe puff still works here. Oh, is it the exact same? How do you know? Is there a, like a like a scar on it? Maybe we'll see it. I mean, I'm assuming that thing on the leg is like wrinkles. Maybe it is the scar. An entomologist must have taken over <laughs> your algorithm. <laughs> Good lord. Oh shit, more vendors. I keep looking into the items, hoping, praying that they're gonna have items that I need to teach my summon some new spells, but... Sadly. So what do you got? Bright Ring, Serum Ring... Oh, right, right, I, I keep looking at the wrong side of it. So this is... Okay, Dark Ward, Poison Ward... SOS, No Shock, SOS, No Blaze. Hmm. Stone Ward might be nice. At least last time we were fighting things that could cast Petrification. I just don't know if I should. Okay, tell you what, I won't. Maybe I should. Petrification is kind of ass. Okay, I'm gonna buy the, the anti-petrification one. Just because, you know, if they get petrified, it's kind of... They just can't do shit. So... Yeah, equip it. You'd rather have that. Especially if there's gonna be more of those. I wanna talk to this... Uh, wait, wait, wait. This one first. She are mocking to violate the teachings, eh? Nonsense. Well, I didn't say that. Rides is Shoopuff? A oh, fucking Jar Jar Binks, right? Not yet. Shoopuff's waiting. Oh yes, I'm going for the Shoopuff. She got a gun? There have been reports of Albed sightings in this area. Stay alert and keep your guard up at all times. Well, they were helping us, kinda. Hey there, if you don't buy anything from me, you'll regret it. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is it getting threatened? You don't even get a, you don't even have good items. What the fuck is wrong with you? Unless Wait, is this the exact same? No. But still. Uh 
Okay, whatever. What about this guy? This little fella. Dangerous when you shoot buffs close. Want to be schmooshed? Alright. Alright, we cannot talk to the... Schmoosh? Wait, what was... What was right. <laughs> oh, the shoe puff. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. I think we're ready. All aboard. Let's see how this goes. I put a marinated cabbage for the first time and it was actually fucking delicious with the beef. Dude, that's, that's a really delicious combo. It's hard to go wrong with cabbage, you know, mixed in with, with some meat or, or anything. And it's quite simple, too. You don't need to be, like, too fancy with it. I wanna be... No, no, no. You do not wanna be schmooshed. Especially not by this thing. Oh. Oh, we're just going through the water, it seems. Pickled cabbage. Now, I don't think I've ever had pickled cabbage, but... It can't be that bad. Take a look. What? What are, we, what are we looking at? Fish on the water? Whoa! Whoa, water! He's gotta be fish, right? A sunken city. Oh, shit. A machina city. A thousand years old. Ooh. Can we go they there? They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, mm. and it all sank to the bottom. Right. It's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Yeah, water is nice to have. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Oh, it's not always about mm -hmm. that. I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. Yevon also if said, do not them, build a far, city yeah? on bridge or on river. Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yeah, that would count, yeah, right? It decides which machina we may use and which we may not. And now hold up a second. That seems so a little bit. What kind of machina may we not use then? That's a bit. Remember hmm. Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. Wait, so 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 what's war? about uh, what's bad about having a city of of machina? More than a thousand years ago. As long as it's so we're talking about like war machines. War using machina to kill. I see. They kept building more and more powerful machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. Ooh. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. That could have been the case. But the war did not stop. Well, what well, happened? What happened then? <laughs> Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their machina. Oh. The war ended, and our reward was Sin. So, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Hmm, no, there's gotta be some more to that. Man, that's rough. I still don't buy that. There's definitely gotta yeah, be more to that. It don't but just fucking like spawn out of thin air. Bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what lord. Big fish? Oh, good lord. Sit down. Sorry. Oh, what the fuck? The outbed. We just fucking snatched Yuna. Oh, uh, what the hell is that? Is that Yuna? <laughs> Yuna, we'll save you. <laughs> What's happening with his voice? I guess he's underwater. Oh, we gotta fight this thing. Wait, only to two of us. Do the other? Do the others not know how to swim? What the fuck? Um, I, I mean, sure. Shit. Um, the lazy actions of an enemy. I wouldn't mind that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. so takes more from like. Oh, right, because it's Machina. Okay, so should I delay or should I start by cheering? I kind of want to cheer first. Yeah, fuck it, cheer. Pickled cabbage is a much softer flavor, but it feels juicier. Ooh. Aqua Shooter? Oh, that kinda hurts, what the fuck? Marinated Cabbage throw, uh, though brings out some wild flavor that I just find very unique. I can imagine that. Uh, vulnerable to lighting, uh, lightning, so... Nothing in particular about being able to... Well, maybe we can put dark on it. Wait, 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 what, what else do we have here? 
Race party accuracy. Okay, I'm gonna try to put dark on it. When does it become Monster Hunter game? <laughs> Imagine. I should stream Monster... Uh, I don't know. I, I thought about Monster Hunter. Uh, uh, streaming Monster Hunter, I mean. In fact, I believe I've tried doing that a couple... years ago. But I don't know. I always get to a point where even if I try dedicating myself to it a lot, I just kind of... Mm, I don't know. Can we silence it, maybe? Or does the game always tell me... Okay, it's maybe the game always tells me when I can silence things or not. I mean, we seem to be doing just fine. This thing doesn't hurt that bad. Yeah, like, yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Let's just keep going with it. I didn't see how much that did. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? What are you doing? Where are you taking Yuna? What the... Readying depth charges. Oh. Hmm. Uh, we, we probably... He's gonna move... Hmm. Well... It's either a case of hit it hard... Or defend. Uh-oh. Okay, it was a case of hit it hard. I don't know, man. After le the extractor come back down, oh, it comes back. Okay, okay, okay. Cause, cause last time there was that motherfucker that kept pushing me around, <laughs> and I didn't realize in time that I was supposed to just like strike him like a lot of times fast so we would push him back. And then we got knocked off the goddamn cliff and we, could we couldn't fight him again. I, I still feel so sad about that one. Here we go, baby. Let's get it. Oh, that's the big stuff, the, the big damage right there. Okay, hey, Titus can survive another hit before we heal him. Ooh, but tell you what, let's just, uh... Oh, we need more high potions. 200 HP is no longer... Well, in that case, yeah, we can definitely wait another one. Fuck it. Garlic sauce brings out uh, my inner glutton like no other sauce, though. Holy moly. I mean, I understand that, man. Like, garlic sauce is like a fucking... It's like one of those things that you would expect them back in the Middle Ages to sell like a... Like a divine elixir. Due to how fucking good it is. It's just insane, man. Okay, delay the fucker again. Kaboosh. <laughs> We're not submarines. Oh, it's coming back down. Mayo's whatever, but you put garlic in it, I'm Sony a fiend. Yeah, like, mayo is basic. It, like, it's serviceable. It's good in certain... In certain combinations and whatnot. In certain foods, whatever. Oh, is it ogre? I didn't even notice. But yeah, like, it, it's hard to beat garlic. Uh, garlic sauce, garlic mayo, garlic... Anything, really. Like, garlic butter? Oh, my... Oh, holy moly. Just for from the Vons, you're 15 hours in or so. Uh, Blitzball was about probably two hours. I haven't really done any Blitzball other than the uh, the main story mandated Blitzball. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I, it, it took me like half an hour maybe reading the tutorials because, like, they just give you a whole ass tutorial list immediately, and I didn't expect there to be that much depth to it. It wasn't that bad once I got into it, but, but yeah, it was like uh, about two, two and a half hours maybe, at most. I, I, I legitimately don't remember how much it was. Maybe it wasn't that long, but yeah, uh, going through that, didn't have to repeat it because I was just like playing extra safe due to the fact that I was scared that I was gonna like mess up and didn't actually understand what the fuck was going on. Yeah, no, I, I took my time reading, uh, you know, with the tutorials, because I was like, man, I, I thought it was going to be like a quick time event kind of mini game or some shit. Did not expect it to have that much in, uh, going into it. So when the tutorials came up, I was like, okay, going to try to pay the most attention. When I got to the to the match with, uh, what's their face? Uh, when I got to the, to the match with the big boys, I just, I used Jack Shot from, uh, with, um, with Titus. Got the score. And, and then I just played, like, as defensively as, as I could to, to just win from there. 
It was, uh, it was exciting, to say the least. Mega Phoenix. It was very exciting. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. <sighs> Look at that. Ah, those out bed. Is everybody okay? I'm oh, sorry. Misa, We're all okay in trouble now. with Unit. the shoe. With the wait, what is it called again? The shoe puff. Oh god. This 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 little creature better not move out of this fucking area. I better never have to hear or see him again. Damn the outbed. What do they want from us? Or maybe we can get him as a summon to just to get his ass up. kicked every time. What do they have to uniform? Wait. They're mad they lost the tournament. What? Oh wait. They're mad about Operation Meehan. We got none to do I that. Wonder, didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? Ah, so the Albeda behind that. Hmm. I feel like Those it's a red herring. Plastic grease monkey. Oh my god, Waka. Holy shit. Hey, Waka. <laughs> it's no use complaining about the Albed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anyone. Isn't this a guy who also voices it's Jake from Adventure Time? Yes, it is. That's all I need and, to know. And, uh, uh, Bender. Well, I guess so. You're right. <sighs> Are we moving? Man just fucking got shell-shocked up in the front. I guess we, we, we went through. That's Lady Yuna? Hmm, no wonder. Well, that can't have been it. Like, when summoners disappearing? Surely there's uh, something else making them disappear. Doesn't seem like it would be anything causing that much trouble Kimari to. Kimari fail as guardian on Shupov. Kimari never fail again. Well, you'll be fine. Might be more out bed. Keep watch, yeah? Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Let's try to... Well, I don't know how far away we are from it, but supposedly now we're going towards Zanarkand. Mm. Let's see if maybe we can get to Zanarkand Looks today. Like we're stuck here for a while. Like I said, it's going to be a shorter uh, Final Fantasy X part of the stream today to make up for no TF2 uh, uh, last stream. Oh, what are they saying? I heard the all bed attacked you. Are you okay? I hope to celebrate Lady Yuna's calm while I'm still alive. How about seeing Lord Brask and Guado Solam? Gu Guado... Uh, fuck. With someone like you at our side, we have no need to fear sin. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Enough of the ass kissing. <laughs> What's up, Master Gibbas? Welcome back, my man. What's poppin'? How's it going? I see a book! How's it going, dude? How you doing? I'll bet Primer. Wonder how hidden some of these books are. I'm probably gonna miss one or other. Seems to destroy the Albed's machina. That's some dedication. You'll receive a blessing from Yevon. It'll be necessary to strengthen security so that the Albed won't get their way anymore. Can I get a blessing from you in the form of money? Shupov sleeping. Wait until Shupov wake up. Oh, here's a guy. Walker, at your service. How much am I? <laughs> Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Where's where's the good stuff? Why aren't you selling good shit? I'll walk her at your service. What the fuck? I can't even give him money. Thought I was lucky not to run into any uh, wheelie merchants on this side of the shore, but I ended up buying something from that man over there. Yeah, you bought the stuff that I probably wanted to buy. Guard Yuna. Yeah, that that's part of the plan. Sin took my daughter, but I just saw her again for the first time in five years. How? Huh? That Guado, that Guado Salam place was amazing. The fuck is going on in that place? Wait, there's more to this map over here, but I cannot access it. It seems. Hmm. Uh, are are these the guys that were with uh, what's his uh, Seymour? Her hair is fucking weird. I sense that Lady Yuna was here. I can feel the warmth of the people. The descendant of a high summoner and loved by everyone. Yuna embodies perfection. Guadal Salam is up ahead, but the path is infested with fiends. Make all necessary preparations for departing. We'll make it. 
Should I say Crusader or follow a different path? I wanted to discuss with someone on the foreign plane, but maybe I shouldn't. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that, trying to hide a chest. Alright, we got, we, got, we got some fiends to fight on, and I see a chest already. So, chat, I heard some news that apparently... Because you might not remember, but they did a, 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 do a teaser for Dragon Quest Twelve like two or three years ago, and we have we've had no news since. And this was something I heard from, uh, I think it was an article, You're not dead, from the longest time ago, where uh, shut the uh? heck up. <laughs> God, so rude, Shinoli. Welcome back, dude. Thank for the ten bits. Oh, is that a that's uh? what? What, what do you... Huh? What, what? Uh? Well, I forgot her name, first and foremost. Thought I was done for back then. But, uh, uh... What the f... Riku! You're Riku! The cutscene skipped itself, uh, I swear hey! to God. Uh, you're okay! Did it skip? Oh, <laughs> What's happening? Oh, God. Terrible. Riku, okay. Yeah, you don't look so good. What happened? Was she in that fucking uh, part of the there, group that remember? was uh, trying to fucking uh, uh, kidnap Yuna? Oh, that Machina? Ignoring the five seconds. Well, I, I didn't expect it to only be five seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought it was gonna go on for a while. Really hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> hey, Milk, how you doing? W Welcome wait, back, man. But you attacked. How's uh, the DSR prog going? Nuh uh it's not exactly what you Games think. of Fever Dream. It's no. it's it's definitely on the on the fun side of Fever Dreams, I gotta be honest. There's been some moments where I'm like <laughs> just caught blindsided by some of like that. Titus's goofiness or or just <laughs> I don't know. Yuna, Lulu, but it's it's fun. I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's an Albed. <laughs> yeah, don't tell him. He's gonna fucking beat her ass up. Wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? Praise be to Yevon. Getting hit in whispers on Twitch by bots? Oh shit, you too, so, huh? So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Yo, Kolka, my man. Welcome back, dude. What's huh? poppin'? How's it going? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, wait, oh, what? Go ahead. What are we discuss? God. only. Boys, please wait over there. What the fuck? Right, sorry, Waka. Wait, wait, did I miss something? Did they know each what? other? What? Girls only already. Ah. Wait, 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 where did... What about Dragon Quest? Oh yeah, her undressing scene uh, caught me off guard and I... Uh, anyway, so... There was an article or something, I can't recall where I read it or if it was Sir like a post I... on Twitter. There's a cutscene going on, I, I can't... like Riku to be my guardian. What? Oh, that was quick. Oh, do we get her as a party member now? Show me your face. Show me your war face. Look at me. Oh. Okay. Open your eyes. Both of them, dude. As I thought. Huh? Um, no good? Wait, what's wrong with her eyes? Are you certain? Huh? A hundred percent. So, anyway. Huh? Can I? If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. There you go. I know. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. Ain't no way he doesn't know. Oh! All party members come together. I got an achievement for that. Let's see, uh, my Project Zomboid character should be dead, but he's fine with a hole in his neck. Oh my god. He's using it as a, as a way to expel the, the zombie blood, the zombie poison. You know, I haven't touched Pro Project Zomboid in forever. In at least like a year. Did they ever? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming they've been adding shit to that, right? Like updates and whatnot. Did they ever work on like zombie pathing and whatnot? Because I remember that was one of the things that I didn't like about it. 
One of the few things I just... I never really played it much. I probably should again, because it, it was a fun... It, it is a fun game. Bad thing is alright, as I know. Yeah, because I, I recall there being a thing... It wasn't necessarily, like, a problem with it. It was, like, more me just not enjoying it as much, where... Zombies would be able to track you, even though, like... Uh, like, you'd go around a building and... Multiple buildings or whatever. And they just know where to, you know, how to track you down, even if you made no noise. Like, you, you the... How should I say? I don't know, the, you know, you, you'd expect, like, blocking their sight would, would help. Running away from them, but those motherfuckers were, like, relentless. Build 42 AK, the next one should be coming out fairly soon. Speaking of uh, builds coming out and whatnot, uh, Phasmophobia had a new update as well. And it seems like they tried to uh, fix the store, the in-game store. Ooh, a treasure chest! Oh, yeah, that's my treasure chest. I wonder what's inside. Yeah, I I'll open it. It's fine. Treasure chest in battles. Wait, in battle? Use a special ability still to open treasure chests found on the battlefield. Be careful, the battle will end as soon as your foes are defeated, and any unopened treasure chest will be lost. Also, attacking the treasure chest will destroy it and all of its contents. Steal that shit. Bomb core number uh, times two! Hey, we need those! Yahoo! Yippee! <laughs> the yoink tutorial. Oh shit! You should know. I'm scary when I get mad. Oh no. I'm gonna use that item I just got on. No no no, no we're not. No we're not. Sorry. We're not using that. I need those. Mixing? What? Rico's Overdrive Mix allows you to combine two items in stock and create various special effects. The results are unknown until the items are actually mixed. Oh boy! Try mixing the two bomb cores you just found to see what happens. I know what happens! I fucking lose them! I want to keep them! God damn it. Wait, what if I combine spheres instead? Thief and Alchemist, uh, Alchemist mix. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Because uh, I've been playing Octopath Traveler and he got uh, the Alchemist in there. And it's it, this is exactly what he does. Well, I guess we're wasting the bomb cores. Kaboosh. Firestorm. Uh, that's good. That's pretty good. That's... Oh, holy, what the fuck? What did you just do? Wasted two good that items. Was great. I can combine items and use them like this. It's not that tough, really. <laughs> I may or may not have wasted 330 hours in uh, in Zombo uh, Project Zomboid. I can imagine that's definitely the type of game where if you get into it, it, you can spend a lot of hours on it. I tell you, if I was if I wasn't uh, doing streams at the time that I that I got that that game that I tried it out, I probably would have dumped that much time into it as well. I like that about it. I I'm I'm a sucker for games with a lot of replayability. Nowadays, it's a little bit harder to get into them because you know, I mean, it's not exactly hard. Well, it's hard in the sense that you know, I, I look at it and I'm thinking in some cases nowadays where it's like, oh man. I, I probably need to put on a lot, in a lot of a lot of hours, but at the same time, because I already play a lot of other games that I kind of want to put a lot of hours into, then it's like conflicting and it's messy. But well, at some point, still, I'd like to go back to some games like that. Don't know jack about this game past the first five hours. I don't you worry, we'll learn together. Got bad memories triggered from you mentioning Octopath Traveler. You, you haven't had your rant here. By all means, uh, rant away. I, I've been playing it, I'm up to, uh, I think I just finished, the last thing I did, I, I finished uh, chapter 2 with all the characters. I got my issues with the game as well. Overall, I'm enjoying it more now, but uh, the start of it is feels a bit slow and, yeah, you know. Until, until you get to the point where you can get uh, second jobs on the character. Oh, can we get a spear grid on Riku? Oh, she, she's clean. She's got nothing yet. Other than steal? Use. Use. Wait, what? Use is in a... Huh? I guess she... Huh, okay. Specifically use, I guess, is... Okay. Maybe she just throws shit. What do we got here? Pilfer Gill. Well, I found out we were gonna use some of our locks today, chat. 
I want Pilfer Gill. I want all the money. What else we got over here? Oh, they were level fucking four. Jesus. All right, what do you what do you got, Riku? What, what what are you hiding over here? Where's where's all the abilities? Luck. That's an ability. Hmm. Okay, what else? Where else are we going from here? Like down here? Spare change? <laughs> Does she only work with money? Uh, if she's a thief, I guess, or part thief, I guess it makes sense. And it can go through here. Where does this put us? Who Whose uh, tree is this? Oh, this is uh, Kimari's. I mean, yeah, we can go through there. But we got enough time to be, uh, to be thinking about that later. The endgame is something that sticks out as one of the most egregious design decisions I've seen in JRPG. Oh, really? Fun fact, if you block a staircase with a TV, zombies can't path fine to you? <laughs> That's goofy as hell. God damn it. Is that the meta? TV on the staircase meta? <laughs> oh, there we go. I knew there was a fucking chest around here, man. But yeah, going back to half an hour ago when I was mentioning uh, the Dragon Quest. So there were some apparent Dragon Quest 12 news. And I'm saying uh, I'm only 80% sure that it was actual news because I can't recall if it was a real article or a post on Twitter that I read a while ago. But apparently, like, they had uh, quote-unquote finished working on the, on the battle system. That they were on, you know, that they were gonna have for Dragon Quest. So because, remember, uh, at the time back when they announced that they were working on, they said, "Oh, hey, 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 we need that." Okay, how's this gonna work? So, who, who's going out? Who's going? Okay, it's gonna be Yuna. Okay, kill dog. Riku. Oh, Riku's got fucking no health, dude. Wait a minute. Just watch. Uh oh. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. She, she can... Uh, Jesus Christ, I just noticed she has no health. Like, at all. She has no fucking health, dude. A Mega Potion, that's it. You're risking death for a Mega Potion. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, no, let's not. Okay, at least we're one-shotting most of these enemies now, so... Thank fuck for that. Holy shit. Uh, but yeah, apparently, because what they said was they were gonna... What was the wording for it? it was like, they wanted to make it more mature? Or just... Uh, Rico, it it, it was something like that. Watch and learn. I'm scared of her, like, standing here. Uh, well, you know... Mm, okay, you know what? Do it. Just get the item if you die, I'll die. Ooh, Dragon Scale! That's pretty good! God damn. Okay, so we can get some real good shit out here. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we hit... I mean, it doesn't matter which one we go for. Ah, uh, if Provoke worked on multiple enemies, though. Okay, just in case I don't kill it. Son of a... Ah! Counter! Counter! Yeah, there we go! <laughs> go for him again! No! Oh, only 90. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's fine. Oh, shit, I need to check... What am I doing, chat? It, it, it's an aerial. It's an aerial. Bring out Waka. My turn. Yeah. Do the do do the thing. Extract the ability. It's over. The girl is a skill. Uh, in short, Project Zomboid is still kind of buggy, but mostly the fun bugs uh, or that help the player. Well, that's nice to hear. That's nice to hear. It, it seems like they are going on a, on the right path to it. I mean, back when I played it a, a year ago, or whatever that was, it, it already seemed like it was, uh, you know, in a good enough playable state, you know, minus the somewhat buggy part here and there. So happy to hear that they're working on- Oh, by the way, Chad, I, I increased the sound of the voices, I hope it doesn't get too loud. I did a little bit of sound mixing here and there. Or change the settings. But anyways, going back to Dragon Quest 12. I'm gonna be talking about it for like fucking two hours. Because I keep distracting myself. That's how it's done. Uh, but yeah, apparently they finished up the... Working on the battle system. 
And that is getting me to wonder just how fucking different, if any at all, I mean, it's gonna be different in some way, but I'm just wondering, like, how different are they gonna make it? Because, like, well, as you know, you know, Dragon Quest games, main series, you know, tends to be very traditional RPG, you know, turn-based. We're inside a tree. And all of a sudden, they're talking about doing, a, you know, doing things differently. But part of me is wondering, would they actually go ahead and actually, like, do some big and different? Would they, would they actually go and do, like, a, an action? I don't think they're gonna do an action, because it's supposed to be a main entry. But I'm wondering if, they, if they're gonna pull something like... I mean, maybe something with, uh, like, like Final Fantasy X, you know, like, just, you know, having that timeline and being able to do some shit with that. Speaking of which, I wanted to check uh, uh, Riku's stuff here. What is that? Claw? Is like a comb? What, what is that? It says claw, but... And a Tarj. Well, we haven't really uh, used her yet in terms of, uh, you know, doing an attack with her. Just for stealing. <laughs> oh yeah, abilities. Uh, so, what do we need exactly? I want to teach them these, so we need Electro Marble, Lightning Marble, and Dragon Scales. I think it's two Dragon Scales for them to learn Watera. Oh, the healing one! The healing one, right. Need High Potions, X Potions, and Mega Potions. Dude, it, what is it, like 30 fucking High Potions? That's crazy. Like, the thing is, so far all of these High Potions that I have are potions that I've found. I haven't been able to, to like, buy these yet, so it's, it's kind of crazy. Forget Dragon Quest, talking about the Elimination Chamber? Now that, that's done. That already happened. <laughs> no one wants to hear about wrestling here. Forget the Elimination Chamber, they increased Tifa's boobs. Did they actually? I thought people were losing it over Tifa just because of that uh, little teaser thing where, you know, she... Well, she, I was gonna say she's got her titties out, but that's not true. They're at the beach, right? In Costa del Sol. She's wearing a bikini. And I assume that was the case. People are losing it over that. Did they actually increase the server boobs? For her? <laughs> There's no way they actually went ahead and did we that. We have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. It's, a, it's way, a big tree. Lady. This way. Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You fucking oh, weirdo! I beg your pardon. Got hair like a fucking tree root. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service Trommel. of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Oh, so that's why. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. <sighs> he did look. Uh, business with me? Whatever could it be? Kind of like those uh, Please, weird dudes that were Seymour come last time. Inside the manor. All will be explained. All right. Well, of course, uh, your friends are also. Look at the side of his hands. What are these dudes made? What? Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. What's up? Customizing equipment. Now that Rico has joined the party, you can customize weapons and armor. Uh oh. It's about to get complicated again. Customize is used to upgrade weapons and armor by adding abilities to them. Oh my goodness. Items are needed to customize and add abilities to gear. First, choose a gear to customize. Note that some weapons and armor cannot be customized. Okay. If any of the slots in the abilities window shown at the uh, bottom left of the screen are empty, that gear can be customized. I, I do like that, though. If an item has no empty slots, it cannot be customized. And also, gear that cannot be customized no matter what. Now. After selecting the gear to customize, at least have available abilities for the gear displayed. The amount of items needed for the procedure is also displayed at the top right of the screen. On the left is the amount of items currently in stock. On the right are the amount of items left after customization items spent when the gear is customized. At least for which there are insufficient items displayed in grey. It cannot be selected. When you select an ability to add, or ask to confirm the procedure. Like, yes, complete the procedure. Some gear get new names after customization. Alright. 
This concludes the customized tutorial. Seems simple enough. What would you do without me? Uh, what indeed? Let's see. Uh, so before going into my garage for Octopath, I first need to ask you a question. What do you think is worse, a game with a horrible start or a game with a horrible ending? I think horrible ending is definitely worse. Because like a horrible, like a bad start, horrible start, whatever, like, you can just persevere to through it. And if the ending is good, you know, the ending, the middle, whatever. If, if the rest of the game is good after the start, then it's like, you know, it pays off, right? Yeah, bad end ruins the game. It, it spoils the entire fun. It spoils everything. Like, it ruins everything, really. Because then you feel like you've wasted your time completely. A bad ending, whatever the reason for it to be bad may be, you persevere through it, you play through it, you put in the time, the effort, you, you know, you just fight through it. Because you know that it gets better, and if it does indeed get better, you end up enjoying it. It's like, okay, well, it was, you know, it was worth it. And you ended up enjoying it in the end. But man, a bad end, like, a sh like if it's just pure shit at the end, you're not gonna forget that anytime soon. It, well, I was gonna give the example, it's not a video game example. I can't really think of one right now. I, it probably just blocked off from my memory any games that I've played that had shit ends, but... In terms of uh, TV shows, like, uh, look at uh, Game of Thrones, easy example. It was a fine show. It wasn't a ca the case of a bad start, it was a the case of a such a bad fucking finish that it made you just, like, comp it made everyone completely forget about it. it. It was so bad that the fucking entire show, the entire everything about it, like, just left the, the, the cultural zeitgeist, you know, it just, it just, it, it stopped being relevant after that fucking season. It was so fucking bad. God damn. Bad start is fine, but bad ending is dog shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're never gonna forget that. You can fight through a bad start, but, like, you, you're never gonna live live down the, the, the bad ending. Ruins the whole experience, makes it all feel worthless. Won't say anything more since spoilers, but the question is relevant to my disdain. Oh, boy. I'll be honest. Um, I've heard... Okay. I don't really know exactly what can make Octopath Traveler, like, really bad. I have my issues with the start of it. Uh, like I said, like, it, it's slow at the start, and it it, ha it it took a while for it to get, like, fun for me. Because the characters at the start, like, didn't have much going for them. And it still feels like, you know, I would rather there be, like, a central story right away, or at least close to the start, because so far, like, doing the chapters on each character, it, it just feels like a chore list, you know what I mean? Now I gotta go here, now I go do this guy's story. Uh, go do this dungeon, go do that, you know? Feels like that. I, I much rather, uh, I would much rather be, you know, just classic JRPG, you know, experience where you just, you know, even if it's more linear, you go through areas and you got a main story and you go you play, you see the point. Um, but part of me kind of wants to persevere through Octopath Traveler also because, you know me, I really like music in video games and I heard the, 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 theme song for apparently like one of the end game bosses in that game and I want to fucking get to that and hopefully it, it's not too painful to get there <laughs> uh, that being said I did hear that Octopath Traveler 2 improves a lot on the first game don't know exactly on what on what it improves but hopefully it's worth it because that one at least I plan on streaming uh, Bloomin walks into my new story link about T T how the last two seasons were meant to be a movie series. Wait, what? A movie series? What is it? Wait, a movie series? Like, were they gonna make a movie about it? Like, um... Were they just gonna make it, like, short movies? Well, they, <laughs> they kinda did, because those fucking last episodes were long as hell. Rocher's st storm is ripping through the Thunder Plains. Please remain inside. Shit, okay. Octopath 2 has some great gameplay. The overarching story is far superior to one, and the endgame is respected. What I've heard at, li at least. Well, that's not. What is this? Well, at least that's nice. That's reassuring, because. I mean, again, I don't have to finish Octopath Traveler to get to that one, but, uh, you know. I I've put some time into it now, and I I'd feel bad to not finish it. I don't know. We gotta help the mar warrior monks patrol the roads beyond. And like I said, like. I've gotten to the point where the gameplay is more fun now because I've unlocked the secondary jobs for the characters. 
So I can customize that and do, you know, it, it, it's a lot more fun in combat. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. However, apparently Octo 2 characters are all basically cookie cutter archetypes, which didn't sound didn't sound pleasing. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. I I, I can see why they would do that again because already in the first one, it kind of feels like that it, still. Because yeah, they're all you know. You got your thief, your caster, your this and this and that. I mean, they're all very basic. That's that's the main issue for me. That's why I wish the overarching story was there, present from the start, and was, uh, you know, more relevant. I haven't even gotten to a, to a point where there is a, a story that brings them all together. Like I said, like, uh, they're just getting together because it's convenient. But no main reason oh, in particular. How fair you, Sir Guardian. I'm okay. It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. That was ridiculously cracked, young, yeah, fucking insane. But he deserves our respect. Like... It kind of made me almost feel bad for starting with uh, the thief guy. Thanks so much for destroying the all bed contraption. Those heathens are despicable. I feel so relieved now. I will say though, the 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 thing where you can interact with pretty much every NPC and steal shit from. Them. Oh, but, hey, hey, stop pushing me, son of a bitch. But yeah, like being able to steal from every NPC and and like uh, find out gossip about everyone and everything, etc. That kind of shit is fun. It's like every every new town, every new town you get to is a, is an opportunity to make some big money. You find those motherfuckers that are, that, that are hiding like big secret high level weapons and, and whatnot, and I'm like, oh hell yeah, baby, time to save scum and steal the the three percent chance weapon. <laughs> That's fun at least. Yo, Gerb, my man, how's it going? What's poppin'? How you doing? Getting pushed around? Yeah, man, these old people in these video games, man, got no fucking respect. Got no respect around here. Got no respect from these, uh, fucking tree hair, the uh, tree root hair people. Lord Seymour instructs the Guado youth on numerous subjects. Thanks to him, I learned about Yevon's teachings and the history of Spira. The Traveler, pretty forgive us our antiquated prattling. Okay, remind me not to talk to these guys too much. The elders just won't give up the old tongue. I keep telling him how unseemly it is babbling like that to guess. I kinda wanna hear that. Let's hear this, uh, this tongue. Although we Guado differ from humans in appearance, our respect for the dead is the same. We Guado protect the far plane so the dead can rest in peace. Yeah, this is the place that that one dude was like, uh, oh, my, my, what the fuck? It's called endurance training, stay out of my way. What the fuck? It pushed me as well! Humans, humans, as summoner and guardians! Okay. These people are weird. Nope. Oh my god, it's a fake chest! It's a fake fucking chest! My- <laughs> I wanted it so bad! God damn it. Oh yeah, I should go check the, the item thing. Yeah, I need to check that. Oh, now I need to- Oh, chat, look, I'm so sad already. My Avenger sword, it has no room for more abilities, look. That's actually sad. Oh, dude. Because I really want that counter-attack effect. It's so fucking good. Okay, so what do we got here? So I guess it's... Uh, yeah, now it's specifically selling shit that you can put... You know what? Maybe I can put counter-attack on other weapons. What a lightning ward going on. Probably a sign of things to come. Alright, let's see. Um, Customize. Um, it seems like I have... Wait, 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 no, no, no. Can I customize? It's got three fucking slots! What? Got three... Oh, um, come on. Oh. Got three goddamn slots for that. I cannot even customize it. I wanted to try it as, at least to see if I could... Well, maybe I can put... Okay, tell you what. Can I... Do any of the ones that I have equipped currently, like, allow for specifically weapons? Brotherhood is a lore weapon. I guess, but ugh, fuck. I kinda wanted to customize it. Well, I guess let's customize her shit. Uh, where's counter? Oh fuck, you can't give counter to weapons? Okay. 
That's power to still affect to attack and skills. I still don't know. Wait, this still pep. So, like, does it just drain? Wait, this still? Like, what? Ability to still or affect to attack and skill. Okay. Well, it can give her strength or magic or. Sometimes adds poison to. Oh, dude. We can stock. Oh, this would be good. Give poison to the melee characters. Now, that would be nice. Unfortunately, okay, so so most of the characters that I are, are using weapons that cannot really be uh, customized, though. Uh, that's kind of sad. What? Need elixir for HP plus 20%. That's kind of crazy, though. Holy shit. Automatically use item secure status element, little bit of ailments. I don't know how to read. Automatically use Phoenix down on KO'd character? What the fuck? These are really good. Cast Null Tide when HP is low. Okay, tell you what. I don't even know if I'm gonna use the weapon. Okay, let's not do this right now. Because it seems like most of my weapons can't even be fucked around with anyways. And I'm kinda sad to find out that I cannot give counterattack to other weapons. Maybe maybe it's too OP. Oh right, the, the, the stats for the weapons are down there. Strength plus 5%. Shimmering Blade, Piercing, Strength plus 5%. This one's actually better. And then we can give it some extra stuff. And this one... Yeah, fuck it, why not? Okay. See, now we can customize some stuff. Wait, 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 what, what items do you have? Okay, no, nothing in particular. But... How many do we need to... Like, holy shit. Okay, comp... I, I don't know... Okay. Waste all my money on. I want to see if I can g give one of them some uh, some poison. Then you know, would be nice if there was a way to sort this by equipped items only. Cause now I have no fucking clue where the weapons are. The ones that I just bought, at least. Oh well, there they are. Okay. I'll put sensor in there. We're, okay, there's they're strength plus three percent, and it doesn't cost much. Just a couple of power spheres. Let me see. Yeah, might as well do that. Why not? There you go. Right, what about this one? What the fuck? I still can't add and What? How many antidotes do you need, son? Don't tell me it's like a full stack of 99 or some shit. What the hell? There's no way. <laughs> Is poison just that good in the game? Holy shit, son. Man, what the... Dude, that's kind of nasty. What the fuck? Oh, is this still the stuff that just makes them drop the specific uh, spheres? Hmm. Maybe it is. Uh, fuck, I really wanted to give her... Ah, fuck it, just give sensor. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, fuck it, give sensor. Wait, Hawkeye? Adding sensor to Devastator creates Hawkeye. Oh, okay. Nice. I think. Do we get anything out of that, or is it just like a name change? I guess it's just a name change. Hmm, okay. Just gonna hope maybe you'd get like some extra if you managed to do like a secret weapon combination of some or something like that. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 my friend is here. Oh, no. I just wasted so much money, chat. Let's chat. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Rude. Ripping off the pilgrims. They come to visit the fire plant. Yeah! Listen, Motherfucker. you watch that they don't get you, too. Me, you can trust. Oh, they already kind of got me. I bought so many antidotes. What do you say? Is he begging for... Okay, he's not begging for... Holy moly. Here we go. Uh, oh, that one's got poison touch. Water strike, lightning strike. Hmm. Wait, that's... Oh, yeah, that's the exact same as that one. Okay, that was I think practically the same. 
What the fuck? Hey, you wanna buy some antidotes? <laughs> what items do you have? Why can't I give him more Ooh. money? I was hoping to give him more money so he could get better stock mobility. Look at this. God damn it. That sounds anti guado <laughs> I wouldn't buy from him. Well, he's he's kind of scammed me in the past, but let's be real. He is consistent in terms of, you know, he shows up. He shows up and he um, gets me some items here and there. Well, he doesn't get me the items, but he puts them up for sale. Oh, book! You guys just got books laying about? That has achieved the rank of Albert Tip. Oh, these people are rude as hell. I can all wait to be out of here. Holy, we made our money back. So you play for the Bezade Aurochs. You're Titus, right? I saw you at the tournament. Let's blitz sometimes. Sometime. Those fiends really made a mess. Some of my teammates were badly hurt. Okay, how do we blitz sometime? Maybe he's in a team. Now let's step away from the Guado Glories and play for a different team once in a while. Why, if they paid me enough, I'd even play for the Albed. I find it difficult telling us Guado apart, don't you? Uh, sure. So what do you think we all look the same? Uh, yeah. A Titus confirmed racist? What the fuck? What's wrong with you? Suppose you think we look odd, don't you? That's fine, we Guado are used to that sort of thing. Guado, whatever. <laughs> Get that guy on your team? How? Since embracing Yevon, we Guado have learned a joy that is Blitzball. They're going to abandon Yevon for Blitzball. It's Ogre. So I think this is... Is that where we're supposed to go? I think it is. I'm just making sure that I go to every other spot that isn't there. Ferocious Storm is ripping through... Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so that's where we're not able to go yet. So assuming that I'm supposed to go there, let me make sure that I go to every other spot. So we don't miss out on anything in particular. Present yourself to Lord Seymour before approaching the far plane. Oh, that's that, uh, that's that, that, that goon looking guy. Alright, I guess we've seen enough. Thunder Pains. Did you guys loot the place ahead of me? These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Maester Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Is that why he looks different? Can we look at the picture? Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> there was a chest here, I didn't notice. Okay. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? The smell? What's wrong with it? I don't like the smell of this one, eh? Why? What'd they put in that picture? I don't like the So odd. Well, it seems like they're all wa waiting here, so I'm gonna assume up here is a little, uh... Dead end? Troma will be back shortly. Please be patient. These are Lord Seymour's, uh, Seymour's private chambers. You may not enter and watch me. Okay, fine. Fuck you, then. I'll be back. I'll be back for his chambers. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Uh, <laughs> Man just says what the fuck he wants. Stay close to Yuna. Okay. I wonder what smells so nice. Okay, we got conflicting uh, statements here. One of these is is in the right. Chad, we need a we need to have a vote. Does it smell good or not? Why does he want to see me? That's a good question. He's gonna ask you about this the smelly, the Turn smelly. This way, please. Nope. Oh. Smells great. <laughs> I don't know who to trust anymore. Oh. This way, please. Alright. Oh, shit. Got no other option. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. 
Sure. Ooh, we got fruit on the table? A feast of fruit and nothing but fruit is kind of boring, isn't it? I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Uh, I don't even think we're getting dinner, man. Like, fucking fruit? Nothing but fruit that's, like, so cheap? What the hell is that? Like a dangling cord. Can't go there. Can't go there. Kimari, speak no more. Uh, suit yourself. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy's just a priest. What the fuck is I... that outside? Those with power use that power. Someone yelling outside Maesters or something. have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Oh fuck, did you guys hear that? Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? There's no temple here in Guadalajara. I'm guessing maybe the noise filter Summoners blocks it. Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question, and you're explaining things. It's just Lord You'd dumping on me. You'd rather I say nothing, then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything. Damn, the about cameraman's Sarah. really going close on the. And maybe that means you believe lore. Me about Xanarkin too. Back there, man. Well, listen. There are many things I do not know. Oh, your Xanarkin listen. is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still. Be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Well, I was yeah, uh, I, I was just gonna say like maybe the other summoners have been getting here, right? Because otherwise we would have heard from these guys as well. Like something was odd, or maybe they're not making. Well, wait. I don't know. Mm, this is good. What, what if it's poison or something? Are you crazy? You just fucking stuff in her face? What could it be? Oh. Well, that's the question, ain't it? What the fuck? What is that dangling thing, man? Fucking. I want to, like, grab onto that shit. <laughs> huh? Truly, it is good to have guests again. Okay. Since Lord Jiskel passed away. These halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord We should probably get the fuck out of here. This place is creepy as hell, man. I don't like these people. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. I don't trust the Guado. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that Have is you tried not just a handshake? All, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. Hmm. That is enough trouble. <laughs> Must I always endure such Don't trades? quote that one. Not out of context, please. <laughs> Yo, I was about to say, man, these guys got the Yahweh hands Welcome. going on at f on full display, you like big ass. To see me? Please big make ass hands. at home. There's no rush. I can't make please myself at home. There's only fruit here. Must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. No. I don't trust any a, anyone anymore in this fucking game. Oh, what the? He kidnapped her into a cutscene. What the fuck? What was in that fruit? <laughs> this sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Hey, that's... that's Zonarkan? Uh, 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 
Xanarkand? Well, there you go. Correct. Xanarkand. As it looked 1,000 years ago. A goal? Hmm. Do you happen to have a recording here also of what went fucking wrong? The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> hey, you were there. She who? Your mom. <laughs> New York City pre <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Where did it all go? Who? Huh? Oh, was that his mother? <laughs> Lady Unaleska. She was the first person oh. to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. Is that supposed to be and her? Like, what, what the fuck is that? I've inherited her name. Oh. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable sin. Yeah, there was the, the other it took guy an mentioned. unbreakable bond of love of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. Got a suit of armor and everything. Oh. Do, do we have to watch the, them do the thing, Seymour? Why do you have this recorded, Seymour? They're in like their privacy, uh, the privacy of their bedroom. Why? Huh? What? What's that? What the fuck? Hey, don't say... He's saying some nasty shit. He's telling her some real fucking nasty shit. He looks like a prostitute. <laughs> what kind of prostitute do you, you have in Poland? <laughs> now I'm worried about why the fuck he's got that, that whole... Uh... Oh. She needs a drink? Oh my... <sighs> the hell did you... Wow! Your face is beat red! You okay? <sighs> <laughs> What's up, Wehara? <laughs> Welcome back, dude. What's poppin'? Uh, 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 can date he, people as tight as in this game? He me to marry him what the fuck you serious uh hey you know what yuna must do of course lady yuna no all summoners are charged with bringing peace to spira but this means more than Holy just sin. <laughs> she must ease the suffering of all spira she must be a leader for the people all right. Well, I, I object. To Lady I I am not as a maester of Yevon. This is not Spira happening. Is no playhouse. We, we ain't letting a this happen. What the fuck? May amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their. Role. Oh my God! That fucking scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Listen, we ain't letting fucking you and a marry some fucking weirdo something. that for some odd reason has re Thinking fucking of... like holographic recordings of some. Some we couple in so the privacy of their bedroom from we leave. a thousand Lady years Yuna, ago or whatever. I await your favorable reply. That's some weird fucking shit. I bet, I bet, I bet he's got a cuck chair as part of that fucking holographic Why imagery. Why are you still here, sir? You invited us! I beg your pardon. What? what? We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. I'm Titus in this cutscene right now. I'm like, I'm just like, what, is he? Okay, I'm no longer Titus. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fucking clown! <laughs> you went to smell him. <laughs> you fucking idiot! God.
God damn it. The fuck is going on now? Oh, can I go in his chambers? We still can't go loot his chambers. He deserves to get his chambers fucking looted. Creepy son of a bitch. <laughs> now everyone knows we're only allowed to date Waka. He's good at handling balls. Juna, the high summoner's daughter. Uh, sorry, blitz Seymour, balls. I have a cold. Of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. There's probably Sounds better ways like to, to, to end racism than, like than marrying that fucker. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm. Getting bombed. God damn it. What? I don't deserve no this. Way. We gotta defeat sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. What the hell? You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, No offense. Uh, no, don't worry about it, man. If it would make people happy. <laughs> if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like You know, this. I'm certain there's better things to do. I won't answer better ways of going about doing this right. shit. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. <laughs> I am a summoner. Watches in the <laughs> I must fight and defeat oh sin. <laughs> like Braska before you. <sighs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Well, let's Go all on. go in there. We'll be right behind you. Hey, maybe I'll get the, the, the I see wondered why none jacked, of the others ever asked you. Jacked whatever the fuck he's name. Love is. Seymour? Do you even like him? Oh boy. Wonder if uh, he spends most of his time just looking at those uh, at the uh, Unalaska like fucking hologram thing. What does it do in the private? Like, he's got a lot of time he can be spent. Is it here? Our place sacrosanct. Proper conduct, please. Yeah, whatever. Is this it? I, I see the, the little souls. I think it's supposed to be that. Oh, oh. Mama. Question. About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But I'm here to meet John. That's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's I got some questions. There too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. Oh. What the fuck? Uh, you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? Funny thoughts? <laughs> I mean, this has been described. You'll see once we get there. What the fuck? Gonna be fighting the ghost of the dead. Aren't you coming? Yeah, what the fuck, dude? I do not belong there. Huh? Well, neither do we, we're alive, but- You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. What? You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the Pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. There you go. Hmm. Well, we might have, have to fun. fight one or two. What? What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. Hmm. Well, is that no way to convince you two to come? come You're come still with? here. Well, well, the dead aren't going anywhere. I can take my time. See you later. Okay, fine. Be like that. Shit. Take a gander. Okay, that was easy. Uh, what? Oh, was that his brother? Huh? 
Are they all like just what looking at? Who's he looking at? Oh, her parents, I guess. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of fucking cool. What's in the middle of that, though? Kind of fucking creepy, isn't it? It, it like in a certain way. The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they looked so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider seeing Where's it, Where's proposal. his father? Isn't he supposed to be dead? Or I thought, at least. Well, if he's not here, then. Oh. No? Okay. Oh. Mm. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? Huh? He's having but a moment. But then again, here you are on a far plane. Guess your place is Can here. Can you actually interact so, with, with the dead? How you been? Wait, why's he got the sword? Oh, that guy I just told you about. Oh, right. He gave me a sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. There you go. <laughs> Bloom TF2 stream this time, yeah? You promised this yesterday. Uh, yes, yes, definitely. I, I promise you I will not... I, I will make time for TF2 today. Uh, no, don't you worry. As promised, uh, today's uh, Final Fantasy X part of the stream will be shorter in order to uh, accommodate for some extra TF2 time to make up for no TF2 yesterday. I just lost track of time last time. He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. Well, yeah, Lulu, we know you're alive. What, what I have to do now. <laughs> you got any dead relatives you want to see in here? What? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm. That's a possibility. Hmm. How about mm, Waka? What, me? With Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Jeez. Oh, well, sorry. My mistake. You'd do well to remember that. All right, all right, calm down. Knowing a bit about women might be to date Lulu someday. Yeah, it's not exactly a date. I won't be forgetting. We're in the either. middle of the fucking Goodbye, well, Chapu. dead. You always said I looked grumpy. I swear to God, I just saw Stephen Hawking but fly those by. Those were the happiest days of my life. He said he was going to some island. I guess there's got to be more around here. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? That, uh, sure. I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Okay, okay, but but hear me out. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. You, you gotta tell him Before to fuck that, off, though. Like. Call Sir Jet. Oh. Give it a try. Huh? You Don't know what? Worry. Do that. Yeah, do that. You won't come. Oh. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He oh, isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. Well, <laughs> yeah, it, it would that be one of the... means well, he's well. alive, you know. Yeah, that's the what thing. What if my old man really is sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? 
Everything he does just makes me mad. It was mm. his fault that me and my mother... Oh. Uh, uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. And uh, dead. Uh, uh, but... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Ah. I think I just... Do they get to, like, interact in any out. way? Or... What? I guess it's just a memory, Why so they just... Man. Oh. Oh, no, another memory we call, we called him See, a crybaby. So I told, I told him, what him, what him what I thought, thought of him right, right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Cuckoo caca. Mama, mama. my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Mom, that smells Maybe like wine again. I started to resent him. Even hate him. When he left us, oh. Mom just lost her energy. Ooh. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. That's all right. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me when it's a not the old lady, dies, that's all right. the one left behind. It just gives up living so it can join its mate. Hmm. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. You'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. Well, he did call him a crybaby, so. <laughs> technically. There's not a single How fucking memory. Well, or he doesn't call him a crybaby. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> yeah, Titus is doing a fucking terrible job of telling her not to fucking marry him. Like, you know what, Warren? Thanks for waiting. Could, could have been interesting to have you in there to, to maybe. Seymour. You usually help with the Lord. Do Lord Jiska. Um. Oh, Lord Jiska. Is, is that meant to happen? Are the dead supposed to fucking walk out of there? Does not belong here. Yeah, no shit. Why? Yuna, send him. Yeah, send him to fucking. What? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, what Lord going on? Jiskel. He oh. is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. Are we about to have a fucking zombie ghost outbreak? Zombie ghosts leave this place. Hey, they, it worked. Huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> she, uh, he, he dropped loot. Uh, <laughs> she disenchanted the ghost. What the fuck? Talk later. We leave now. Okay, some's fishy around here. Uh, what was that just now? That really Lord Disco? Wait, I know. D ah, I didn't get the pick. How a man like Lord Disco can die and not be sent? I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful hmm. emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Hmm. Interesting. What the fuck did she get? Is it an item? Did we even... Flint? No, what? <laughs> we still have a gust. Was it this? No. The fuck was it? Please refrain from speaking of Lord Jisco. We must avoid unseemly rumors for the sake of Spira's harmony. No, no, no! You motherfuckers are hiding some, 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 some secrets here. Some nasty, fucked up secrets. What the hell's going on around here? 
I will go. Meet with Maester Seymour. You really should not. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. What the fuck? Um... What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? Why are we allowing this? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way is fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. Yeah, but what's... I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Mm, I just don't get it. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm with him on that, on that one. Block his path. Fuck! Alright, let's get, let's get in there. Let, let's break up this marriage already. Let's cause a divorce. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, yeah? I don't know, I, I feel like we need to question the, these we things more. as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. Nothing normal about a ghost wanting to walk out of ghost land. Now like a goddamn Listen, zombie. If Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? What? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. What? See? You just said it didn't... What? If Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much yeah, sense. Yeah, <laughs> you wanna... I'm I know. So, what the fuck do you wanna do then? Let's go in there. One's in love with that fucking creep fucking looking at old so ass holograms. There, and I was a little worried about what was going... Anyone's got a new dialogue? Leave as soon as you... Lulu? I've talked enough about that. Alright then, time for action. I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. Oh, there you go. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. Uh, <laughs> you're... <laughs> You're more my type, Lulu. <laughs> oh my fucking god. So those are those are the options we have. We're actually okay, we actually have that option. Uh listen, you do know some pretty powerful magic. It's hard not to, you know, like that. Interesting. I suppose I could add you to my list. List! I wish you good luck, little boy. What? You're going to need it. Wait, wait, there's a lot of, a lot happening, but why do you have a list? Titus, you need to defeat my seven evil bo ex-boyfriends. I'm a little worried about Lord Jiskal. Oh, I now you're worried Mr. about Mr. Seymour has heard. Little boy. Why can't we go in? For a while there. Leave the Guado's problems <laughs> to the Guado, they say. I want Lulu to call me little boy. <laughs> leave the Guado's problem. Oh. Uh, we leave as soon Meanwhile, as Oren and Waga were here just sitting like fucking watching it unfold. What do I want to, be, to, to do exactly? Should I just go the... There's the... Uh, you know what? Maybe if we leave, something will happen. Maybe down here? Oh, there you My. go. Oh, is that is lady, lady again? Summoner not with you? Oh, she's no, marrying some fucking she's weirdo. She's place. That's Maester Seymour or Lord Seymour. Go fuck yourself. Oh, well, actually, that's Maester. Sorry. Ah, eat my that's dick. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. Huh? You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Huh? Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. What the, what, what? Whoa! I gotta tell the others! Yeah, so, like, what the fuck? How long ago did they leave? Hey! Shall we go put on the list? On Lulu's list? Lord 
Jisco, Wait, what please the fuck? tell me. What can I do to help? Yuna, let's go. How long was she gonna wait in here to tell us that, you know, he wasn't here? Alright, Yuna, it's about time you took your meds. You're talking to pictures. Talking to goddamn pictures. They say Seymour went to Macarena Temple. Macarena. Macalania Temple. <laughs> what I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester oh head my off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. God damn it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Well, off to the Macarena Temple then. So can we actually now go through here? Okay, now we can. Uh, should I have bothered buying a lot of uh, anti-thunder shit? Should I have spent my money on it? Maybe we can survive, right? Oh no! We're here! Uh-oh. <gasps> oh. How are we supposed to cross that? Just See run. The lightning Don't look back. Towers? The lightning is drawn to them. Hopefully. Oh boy. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning just in we should them. avoid wide open areas. What happens if we don't? How bad is it if I we don't? Something in Guado Salam. No, 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 no. Nice knowing you. <laughs> okay, God okay, damn. I'll go. Fucking cold. Moving. Oh boy. Lightning can strike Titus on the Gan of uh, Thunder Plains. Look, what the fuck? Hey, 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 come. What the hell, man? Lightning Rod Towers absorb nearby. No, 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 there's a chest! There's a fucking chest! Oh, so you can go under them. There are no towers nearby. You can dodge lightning by pressing A. Hit A as soon as you see a lightning flash. If you su uh, if successful, you can dodge a thunderbolt. I'll do it. Constantly mashing A, however, can be dangerous. Okay. Good luck on your journey. We'll be fine. See? I got the good reflexes. Kinda scared that we get- Oh, son of a bitch, of course there's fighting to do. Part of the game, really. But, fucking A. Uh, are all of these aerial? Cast on itself. Aerial, aerial, okay. Oh, that- He's actually kinda tanky, what the fuck? I should've delayed him, what the hell am I doing? Okay. Uh, we need walk in here to begin with. Okay, I keep going for the wrong one. Okay, tell you what, what, what time is it? Tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the, um, to the save point. And we'll do some TF2, alright? And then, uh, we'll, 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 we'll go, we'll traverse the Thunder Plains on, on the, on the next stream of uh, Final Fantasy X, which will be sometime next week. Possibly, possibly Wednesday. Um, although I might actually, uh, I might actually uh, do an extra stream or other during the week. What am I doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? Gotta dodge the lightning two hundred times in a row. <laughs> well, there's time to do that another time. Don't you worry. Uh, anyways, delay attack. I don't want that thing to attack anymore. There we go. Right, just delete that thing. This counts as li dodging lightning. Okay, I think I made the music a little too quiet now. Oh, what the fuck? Did I lose health? I think I did. Yeah, I definitely lost some health. Son of a bitch. How much health is that? Wait, did I lose health? My health seems about the same. I, I don't think you actually, uh... Hmm. I, I just want to check for... I just want to check for items, ma'am. Okay, what do we got here? 
I'll tell you what we got. We got no, uh, okay, but gold element. Actual gold, or are we talking electricity? Probably electricity. And then we got flying fuckers. Okay. Let me hit you with that delay attack so you don't do shit. Uh oh. Um, yeah, but I do want to increase the, the music volume. I feel like I made it a little bit too quiet. Oh yeah, this guy first. That's the most annoying thing and the only secret I remember in this game. Oh, dodging lightning 200 times in a row? Oh, what is that all about? What happens if you do that? Well, actually, don't tell me, I guess, but that's an actual thing? Lowers an enemy's magic. That seems nice. In your magics. Boink. No more magic for you. Hopefully. Maybe... I thought he was gonna be able to delete this one in one hit, but I guess not. Miss? What the fuck was that all about? Did you see that? Okay, we need, uh... We need, uh... We need Lulu in here or something. To deliver... Some, some, some water. Go with the flow. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you said don't tell me after I post my... Ah, it's fine. It's not like it's, you know... It, it would be bad if it was like some big fucking spoiler, but... Um, dodge 200 times in a row to get end game component for Lulu's best weapon. Oh, shit. I can try to do that, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Ah, what the fuck? Hold on, you cunt. What the hell's wrong with you? God damn that hurts! Stop fucking eating each other! What a weirdo! Yeah, I gotta, I gotta remember to to keep you and around. Oh man, it's gonna get tricky. I have to keep like fucking swapping characters to make sure that they all get leveled up, especially, especially Riku. No oh, fuck! Okay, back to zero. Wait, does it get interrupted if I get a... Well, I mean, I can just stand still, right? Chat, yeah, we're not gonna be here for 200 fucking... It, 200 is just a lot, though. There's not even a counter for it. Unless it starts going faster, which would be nice. Dude, I, I, this is just something I gotta do on my own. <laughs> Like, I'm willing, um, I'm stubborn enough that I, I would be willing to do this shit, sure. But, um... Or, or is this the, the type of content we're doing today? Until I inevitably get to 199? And then we get hit? Oh boy. Okay, I, I'm afraid that I will back into the... accidentally back up into the... Oh, well, it, it, yeah. Let's just go for the thing. <laughs> We're not doing that right now. Hey, Dwarven, welcome back. What's Pop and I doing? I'll, I'll, ju I'll just do that, like... before the next stream on my... like, off-stream, I'll just fucking work on that. So, good timing that we're, uh... Oh, my fucking god. Oh! What the fuck, dude? God damn. Okay, uh... Kill that thing, please. Yeah. Okay, Waka, you're not one-shotting the flying enemies anymore. I don't know about that. Yuna, please. Yes. Oh, you know what? Just summon. Yeah, so we, who? Wait, who do we... I think it was Ifrit that I taught uh, the, the water attack. Right? So you should be able to at least one shot the like the that that lightning elemental thing. All right, buddy. All right, let's see. Yep, water. Boink. Hehe, <laughs> the big damage. 
Oh no. Oh, he's immune. Thank fuck. Meter strike? I mean, he's low, so... Yeah, yeah boy! <laughs> Let's go! Now this fucking thing. Dude, how many times are you gonna attack? Holy shit. Please don't miss. Yeah, that's good. I, I'd call that not missing. H how did people... By the way, how did people figure it out back in the day? The whole, you know, dodge it 200 times and then get the thing. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Motherfucker! How do people... Oh, shit. Okay, chat. We gotta get that first. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the same... Oh, lordy. Okay, wait. No, not praying. Need to need to heal up... Uh, no, no, no. Lulu, please. Looked it up on G Game Facts. Yeah, but... but you know, the, the first person ever to discover it. You know. Who's the Thomas Edison of uh, finding out that you need to... <laughs> you know what I mean? What the fuck? Oh, maybe we can use Dark Attack. Oh, watch out for confusion. What? If, okay, what if we go for silence then? Be quiet. Yeah. Kind of rude, but it works. Forums existed. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But like before, the, before we get to that part, like the first person to, to figure it the fuck out. How do you figure out that you need specifically to dodge two hundred these fucking things in a row? That's what I'm curious about. Um, let's see. Bring someone at random here to deal with this. Uh, is that the one for petrification? What the fuck? Okay, you got you, you got too many statuses that you can apply. I don't like that. I'm like the very first one. Water. Yeah, you have a prophetic vision after a batch of bad shellfish. No sweat. I, I guess that makes sense. I guess that would be the way to, to make that happen, huh? Okay, be the good shit. High potion, baby. 